the standard pontificators and talking heads are correct. The standard mask and the standard social distancing is correct. If you would deal with the cause, if you would really, really deal with the issue, then I'll believe you. But you're not dealing with the, the issues at all, ever. So I'm not too sure about any of this pontificating and this shutting down. <laughs> it seems to be a complete hoax to me. Dr. Cass Ingram with us today. He joins us live here on our broadcast. And uh, we we have Dr. Cass on from time to time to talk about all sorts of different things. Uh, we've had him on talking about wild oregano. We've had him talking about his radio and television broadcasts and his, his 24 books that he's got out there. Um, Dan Perkins, uh, do you have any questions for Dr. Cass while we have him here? Just a few. Okay. Jump in there. <laughs> So, so Dr. Cass, let's let's start at the beginning. Did this virus originate in China? We have no hundred percent proof of that, actually, because there were there were double pneumonia cases in the United States, and uh, 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 there was an outbreak in several hospitals in November. Uh, so, and, and we don't know for sure because I'll tell you another issue. It, it appears to be a recombinant. Uh, pathogen or a GMO or you know, genetically engineered monkey business, so that could have and it could have entered it could have entered in the picture anywhere. Uh, right, and China was involved with a big pig epidemic. I think you know this. Mm -hmm. uh, Swine flu. Three hundred fifty million dead pigs in one year. Right. And so they were getting vaccines from everywhere: Spain, Vietnam, the United States probably played into it. But yeah, you know about Fauci and the lab and all that stuff. So when you when you when you look at it and say uh, there was clearly some kind of an out, serious outbreak in China, yes, they shut shut down the entire city, literally locked people in their apartments, yes, before the end before the end of the year, yeah. So did that come from the lab, or did it come from the wet market? Uh, I, the wet market is troublesome because uh, for two reasons. One, the main reason is that the animals tested negative for this specific virus, the, you know, the, the wild animals. But the other issue is there. The early infected people were trading in hogs. That brings us back to industrial farms. That brings us to the vaccines, recombinant or GMO vaccines that are used in a massive of a massive amount, illegal, illicit, and, and legal in the hog farms, in the chicken farms. Uh, it brings us back to the people who funded these mega industrial 14-story tall pig farms in China, which is Smith, which brings us to uh, uh, Goldman Sachs and J.P. Morgan. And you know, I mean, this is it's pretty complicated. You're looking at what appears to be an a, a industrial catastrophic industrial uh, pharmaceutical accident. Uh, yes. I don't think anybody purposely did this. It could have released from the lab, but it could have just as easily done, did the same as H1N1 of 2009, which was, uh, you know, uh, these, these genetically engineered vaccines. Uh, they, they are published on record as causing H1N1. They are published on uh, vaccines are published on record causing the swine flu outbreak in Fort Dix using the flu shot, which then was manipulated by uh, the vaccinators to create a, a vaccine movement. Uh, so we got some bad history here in the human race. Don't forget 1918 was was related to medical intervention and another catastrophe. Yeah. So but if, if, if we if 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 we believe that China, in fact, released some number of millions of people out of Wuhan before they locked it down, then those people, and according to the, uh, the U.S. Bureau of Immigration, in 2018, 168 million Chinese traveled all over the world. Yes, exactly. And we have no, no indication that that was 18 in 2019 that it was a was significantly different than that one way or the other yeah so if, if you had five million people who inadvertently may have been exposed to this virus in wuhan then they became 
the ambassadors yes. of, de of death around the world. That is right. From the, from the Chinese government. Yeah. But so we, the, again, the problem that you're, we're, you're, we're facing is that it's, it's, back, it's not so much a Chinese phenomenon, it's a, it's a phenomenon of uh, greedy industrialists, I don't even like to use the word, but uh, greedy elements that are making money off of factory farming. Uh, so it's following the same pattern as H1N1, which was a factory farming uh, epidemic. Yep. Uh, half a million people or so died. It's it's definitely a, an issue. Don't forget the, the hog farms, the beef and the chicken to a lesser degree in the United States are the big pandemic zones besides nursing homes. Nursing homes are one issue. The other big epidemic zones or hot spots are the slaughterhouses. And mm -hmm. uh, so something is spreading rapidly there, too rapidly to, to say, well, there, it should be six feet apart. No, eight. No, two. Uh, so, so, so there, you know, this would be covered up uh, if this was tied to uh, the pharmaceutical business of over-vaccinating, if it was tied to industrial farming, that these, this is killing people, then somebody's culpable for this. You see, that's, that's why we see all these other theories to a degree it's diverting our attention from the obvious, which is that uh, uh, that there's a problem with the uh, you know you, you social distancing human beings and leave the pigs shoulder to shoulder, body to body, the chickens all jammed together. You see, it's it, none of it makes any sense, right? So, well, I wa I watched most of the Senate testimony today of the four four doctors involved uh, in this on the uh, task force and you know i i would say the market sold off 400 points as the doctors were not very reassuring about the possibility of another out serious outbreak uh in the fall or winter along yeah. with perhaps what might be a devastating flu season they're but, all so positive aren't they <laughs> No, I, I would say that I don't think they're positive. I think they're negative. Yeah, okay. oh, I think he was being sarcastic. Um, uh, here's I the deal, okay? I'll, I'll tell you flat out I, to interrupt, but the deal is that they predicted 65 million corpses. You know that. Two and a half million in the United States. It was right. pretty pretty bad prediction. Right. Uh, so, Ferguson. you know. In the, how's that? Ferguson at the Imperial College in London. Yeah, and Fauci and the, the Burks, whatever they all followed. But we're going to have some issues. Uh, there's the flu; it's always an issue. And we've, uh, you know, the nursing home people are dying, but we don't know what they're dying from. Some COVID, some flu, some over medication, some ventilator. I mean, everything is. Um, some inside people at the at the hospitals are extremely disturbed by the, the way the powers to be or handling the whole thing we the only fact i can give you is we'll have some cases in the in the fall you know yeah. uh nobody knows how many <laughs> i mean it's not gonna go crazy and call cause 10 million people to die forget it it's just not gonna happen it is uh, uh dr cass ingram he's with us today he has got a tremendous book uh it is a uh just uh it's a controversial book but it is fantastic covid 19 remedy is the latest from him and uh john sitting here listening to uh dr cast you have any questions for him mr john i'm just kind of going along with what he's saying i mean i think some of us been over sensationalized but not it's a serious thing but I think it's like if you just stick your head in the sand, it's not going to get any better. Um, what do you think of uh, doctor? The would be the proper ways to reopen, just go about it. Because I've heard different uh, stuff about well, like wearing the mask too much and things. And I have been talking to COVID nineteen victims uh, all over the country, and they're emailing me and so on. It's like you said, it's a pretty aggressive uh, situation for them. And uh, and they're all surviving it. I what there's a it's a complex answer to your question. First of all, medic medicine is incompetent. You understand? Uh, yes. It, it cannot handle this. So the, wh why would you keep intubating people when there's a hundred percent to ninety five percent fatality? 
figure out something else. Maybe Mr. Trump's zinc with hydroxychloroquine. Maybe it's oil of oregano if they would ever believe in some of the things I've published. But uh, treat them conservatively. We still will see uh, deaths throughout the year because medicine is just managing it. Okay? So if you took that out of the equation, I say you open the whole country up. Done. And you deal with the pocket outbreaks uh, best as you can. You isolate. You don't quarantine healthy people. You isolate contacts. You keep that going. You protect the elderly people. And look, if we're going to have two million deaths or a million deaths or even 200,000, it's going to be because they're going to, medicine intervenes again and forces vaccines on, or people not, you don't even force. People line up. Help! My, I want my life back. Give me the vaccine. And when that happens, you will see complications. Yeah. Uh, so, and we're seeing it in the nursing homes. The, the nursing homes in some states, 50% of the fatalities are in the nursing homes. And the states who don't have, uh, you know, uh, in, they don't have slaughterhouses. And those are the most heavily flu vaccinated people in the country. So, you, you know, you just <laughs> shove the immune system into the ground. The virus comes. The, the people die. So I think you open the country up and you deal with it. I mean, and I'm I'm a life saving guy, right? I I've never oh, yeah. I've never recommended a drug, a vaccine, a chemotherapy, or radiation. And you're hearing it from me. That's a lot different than hearing it from somebody that's tied to the pharmaceutical uh, uh, cartel. Um, so I'm not interested in seeing people die ne needlessly, but they're dying anyway. Alcohol, uh, suicide. Financial uh, distress, depression, overdrugging themselves. Uh, one guy just drank uh, a, a gallon of antifreeze and killed himself. Why I don't know. Somebody that I know that. Uh, uh, just so wow. you can't you can't shut the United States down. It's the engine of the world. I've never heard of anything so absolutely inane in my life. And to mandate a mask, I'm sorry, I'm against it. I, I if you want to wear a mask, wear a mask. You don't want to wear a mask, don't wear a mask. Simple enough. IQ Al Rizzoli, sitting here listening to Dr. Cass and, and everybody. I, I know you probably have some, some questions for, for Dr. Cass or some feedback. No, I agree with him that America should have opened in April. 100%. I mean, look, yep. as you said, the figures were two and a half, two million dead, then 200,000, then 67,000, then 60,000. What are we doing? You put garbage information in, of course you get garbage information out. All the, all the statistics they had were wrong, completely and utterly wrong. And the figures now shows, although it's a very powerful uh, disease, I mean, the virus, it's not as deadly as they were saying. I agree with the doctor, open. Open, 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 uh, open is, uh, immediately. Uh, look, look at building up your immune system. Get some conversation on the internet all over the place about the immunity. Uh, the zinc is fine. The vitamin C is fine. Uh, certainly, uh, you know how big of a fan of oil of wild oregano I am. Yeah. Uh, um, yep. But also onion and garlic. I'm not gonna, you know, just to sell one thing. Or, uh, I guess I'm gonna run the whole supermarket out. <laughs> by the time. Sentiment. Uh, but uh, you know, you you know. Two Chinese youths died from the masks. Yes. They, they were forced to run a 1,500-meter race or, or jo whatever, and they, they, they died, and they probably died from carbon, uh, not, not just carbon monoxide, would you believe cyanide <laughs> gas? Because these masks are made from, from petrochemicals, and they have cyanide uh, in, it, in it. If you heat the mask from breathing hot, breath, you le release formaldehyde and cyanide and something killed these 14 year olds uh, at least three people now in China under 15 have been, have died with a mask on they did not wow. have coronavirus now and speaking with one of your uh, associates the, it is a serious and, and it is a serious thing uh, to have the virus but yeah. It's only serious because you're neglecting. You're neglecting to look at the slaughterhouses, to look at the pork flesh, to look at the lack of immunity, to look at the sugar consumption, yep. to look yep. at the alcoholism. Yep. None of it will be discussed. Instead, 
will blame somebody because they said open the country and don't wear <laughs> masks to or Neiman Marcus's or something. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Or <laughs> Tiffany's or whatever. Can you imagine Dr. everybody Cass walking into a mask and everybody in Tiffany Jewelers has a mask on? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dr. Cat Ingram with us today. He has got the COVID-19 remedy. It is a fantastic book. It is available on his website. You can also find him on social media. And uh, Dr. Cass, I, uh, uh, as, as we wrap up here, I'm going to leave it with Dan Perkins here. Dan, do you have any more questions for the doctor before we let him go for today? Sure. Doctor, first of all, thank you for coming on and, and, and being a breath of fresh air. Sure. I, 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 I watched, the, uh, watched the confrontations today with some of the senators with the doctors, and there was an interesting confrontation between um, Rand Paul from Kentucky and Dr. Fauci. And Rand Paul said to Dr. Fauci, you don't control, you're not the single source of controlling what happens in this country. And uh, the news media went bullshit over this. That how could he how could he question the reliability and the integrity of Dr. Fauci? And 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 I think it was really a representation of what's going on is that we have turned over our lives to the medical community, and only now, after several months, are we beginning to question. We what turned over that? our lives beautifully said to the industrial, pharmaceutical, autocratic cartel, yep. of which Fauci is merely a, a, a front face. And if you yep. look around Mr. Trump, he's surrounded by such uh, nefarious characters. So I would urge uh, the president and, uh, and wonderful Mr. Paul uh, to, to get out of that box and support a full opening of the United States of America. If you want to lean on me, I'll be the immune system doctor. I'll try to get it out. Maybe call me again, Jiggy Jaguar can, and we'll do a couple shows on how to support your immune system, what to buy at the supermarket and grocery store, health food store. That would be also, awesome. Yeah, we need to do those. It could damage you and make you vulnerable. Well, do you, uh, think, doctor, do you think, doctor, that uh, the political lines that have been drawn the democrats want to keep you in your house and the president wants you to get out of your house and go back to work how's that going to come down i think the president will win i think it because it's common sense and the public is t sick and tired of it and the whole the whole country is going to get behind him and there's going to be some some paranoid schizophrenics that are, hey, you're not wearing a mask. Like when I went into Whole Foods, I slinked in and no mask. Ah, no, I, I, I'll wear a mask if I need it, but I, and I'm not going to have somebody tell me to do it. Uh, and, and, and there's going to be that, but we'll get through it. People will calm down. They're going to see that a healthy person can infect another healthy person. Uh, <laughs> um, you know, it's, Thank you. We'll get through it. Well, the uh, well, whoever they are, they're not going to win this one. Well, Dr. Cass, I know that your time is limited. I appreciate you uh, making time to come on today to chat about the book and everything else. And I'm going to follow it's up a with... It's free book. Don't forget, I'm, for the, while this shows up, it's still free until I publish the hard copy. You know, That's for the people. I am going to get with your PR people because I definitely want to have you back and do those shows that you mentioned because uh, that, that would be fantastic. Uh, I appreciate you making time, and uh, thank you, Dr. Cass. I appreciate it, brother. Thanks, Doctor. Thank you, man. There he goes, Dr. Cass Ingram. We are going to bring in our next guest here in just a few moments. While, while I dial them and try to get them in here, uh, IQ, uh, what, 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 what did you make of uh, the doctor and some of the things and the information he was giving us? He's rational, for God's sake. Like us. <laughs> We're all rational here. <laughs> I think everyone here agrees that we should open. No question about it. Yes. They have destroyed the economies of the world based on misinformation and wrong information. How can you justify 